What's up, my YouTube folks? Um, sorry, I've been busy. We're working on an online course right now, so that's why the videos have been a little bit slower here. But today we're gonna introduce. <laughs> today we are gonna introduce our uh, a couple of our dogs to open area searches. Uh, so what an open area search is just an offline search uh, in the area for a person. Um, right now we're gonna keep it separate from bite work, so uh, we're gonna have a smaller kind of tug or wedge. Um, that they'll be just searching the area for and someone will be hiding with the wedge. This is very different than tracking, tracking their nose to the ground um, and following basically footprints. Open area searches, I'm okay with them using having their head up and using all of their skills to try and locate where that target is. Um, one of the other reasons we use a smaller toy um, is because in my opinion, the smaller surface area also gives off less odor of equipment. Um, so hopefully it's overwhelmingly, uh, the odor is overwhelmingly of human that they're looking for. So without further ado, let's go teach these dogs how to open area search. All right, so a couple of things. Uh, first, we're gonna start with the dogs seeing our decoy kind of run off and hide somewhere. Um, and then we're gonna cut them loose with the search command. Um, also, while we're doing this, we're gonna try and get them used to having a drone flying up above them. So. We're kind of throwing it all at them right now. We're going to see how they do. So our, the dogs that we're doing right now are Sam and Clive. Let's get to it. Yeah, buddy. Go, Al. Ready? Yep. Man. You'll probably notice in the videos that um, the handler is giving little to zero help, period. Uh, we want the dogs to be comfortable independently ranging out and going to figure out where that target is that they're looking for. Um, the other thing that you'll notice, um, sometimes the dogs will actually go past the target. Um, and right now, that's okay. I, I think, in my personal opinion, if we interject too much in the dog's hunting, um, they stop hunting and start relying on the handlers um, to help them find uh, what they're looking for. Uh, so them blowing by them uh, is also okay. You'll, you'll also notice some of them, as soon as they pass them, really solid head snaps and then right back into behavior. Can have a lot to do with what the odor is doing in that moment, um, what the wind direction is. Uh, all those things play a factor. So um, that's that on that, bud. We're cooling the dogs off now, um, but that's kind of our, our introduction to these open area searches go. Uh, we try to really quickly get them to understand it ranges out vastly. Um, so again, that was Clive and Sam. Both of them did really well. I'm happy with how they did there. Um, now it's just progressing that and progressing that. And then eventually we'll put full bite work into the picture of open area searches. Uh, but right now we really want them just understanding, hey, this is a fun game to get out into the environment and find the person that we're looking for. So I hope you guys enjoy. Until next time.